All right, so let's get this thing to refresh on its own. And it's, uh, it's actually a fairly simple thing to do. Hop over to our JavaScript. We've already got a way to build the table dynamically, but we're only running that once. We're actually gonna wanna rebuild this table several times. So instead of doing this right here, let's go ahead and up here above document ready, let's create a function. And we'll call this build. And uh, we don't need to send it any parameters. It's actually a really simple function. We're just gonna drag this up here into the function. And this just creates a easy way for us to call this anytime we need to. So we'll call it here. So initially we'll build the table. Actually, let's go ahead and do this up here. So we'll build the table initially. And then what we wanna do is when this Ajax is successful, we want to go ahead and run that function. So we'll do comma success. This means so if the file was loaded successfully, um, there's other things we could do with this, but at the moment we're just going to make sure that the file was legit, uh, no errors, um, trying to find the file. So if it was a success, go ahead and build. And that's pretty simple. Um, and while we're at it, Let's go ahead and just make a function for tally. So function tally, because we're gonna wanna retally as well. And we'll take this, move it here. And actually, instead of retallying every time we rebuild or putting that new function in, let's just go ahead and assume that that's gonna be something that goes along with building. So after the uh, log is built, go ahead and run the tally. So that saves a step for us. Let's save this and take a look at what we've done over here. Let's refresh. That's the reload. There you go. Now it's added to the list. Now, you would think that as you add tasks to this list, um, at least in my opinion, you'd want the newest one first. Um, so we need to sort this. So hop back over here, hop over to log.php. And this is pretty simple, especially since we've added those timestamps. We're just gonna go ahead and do K for key sort data. If we save this, hop over and refresh. We should see test the reload come up first. Oh, we didn't, you know, why? Two reasons, I want that to be reversed order. I want it to go down, um, but I think we're still gonna see an error here. Uh, maybe not, okay. I was thinking we would because these tasks have inconsistent IDs with the other ones. If we go ahead and reload the data here, but let's not worry about that because we'll go ahead and when we build out the delete button, uh, we can remove these and they won't be a problem anymore. 